So, let's resume our serialization. And, well, on our save file, we have so far the saved model behaviors. Of course, this is for when we are save our player, enemies, and so on. And this is where we save our interactions. But we are missing one crucial thing. And of course, that is saving the actual inventory we have. Okay. We kind of have already done most of the work for that because if we go on our player profile, we will see we have this list. Okay, so we have our starting clothes. Well, basically, it can be the clothes yeah, that you actually already have equipped, and then you have your right hand, whatever is on your right hand, then whatever is on your left hand of course the consumables and every item that you might be carrying so basically we just need to serialize this in well this is also serialized but of course this is prone to editing especially when we play in uh, the editor and any changes that happen to this they will not actually uh, be saved with the when we leave the game mode okay so there is two ways to do this because however the player profile or the inventory of uh, a player uh, saves more than every well it saves more than the the rest so for example we only save positions and stuff like that when we quit the game okay so uh, the inventory will actually save every time that you change something and every time that you pick up a new item and by change something i mean maybe you could well i think apart from the consumables when you change a uh, sword or when you change some clothes and all that it does uh, do a save uh, of course that's easily to find but let's assume that that will happen every time there so to avoid writing multiple files, uh, well, to avoid writing a lot of objects that we don't necessarily have a use for. For example, for we don't need to save more behaviors every time we change uh, a sort or stuff like that. We are only going to save strings. So we're going to create a new serializable class, which will be our profile save. And in here, we're going to have all our, yeah, so basically, we're just going to take anything we have on our player profile, which is somewhere here, okay. We need this to be saved. So, let's see, I'm going to put this on a new vertical tab, and right now, we could just do save and we could also write public profile save or yeah public profile save get save or get savable profile so in a sense this will be really simple let's put this back in here because all these are in a format that we can actually serialize. Okay, say return the save. And if we just do save dot all items equals new list and then save dot all it uh, yeah save dot all items dot drains all items there goes that and then for the rest we could just do starting clothes starting clothes right hand right hand left hand okay so this will get us the several profile However, 
there's one small problem and that small problem is that we actually only know IDs we do not know conditions okay so this will only save the IDs for conditions for example the sword you might have could have durability at zero or it might be broken or anything else so that will not be saved in this case this will only give you uh, new clones of the base object okay for now this will work okay let's fix this and see how it will work and then later we're going to move into serializing actual instance items instead of just the IDs so on our serialization script again we kind of want to do the same thing so I'm going to copy this and paste them again and now this will be save to file or save profile to 5 and gate let's see we have to get files okay so get save profile so now we need to change this we of course it's important to change the name as well so that will be save profile or profile save okay and we can change this to profile data dot data same lo uh, save location will still be the same thing that's what we need and let's see and when we get that back we're going to be returning a profile save so that means this needs to be casted as a profile save now for the file info as you can see we basically get every file we have and then we separate them by the the, the dot okay so that means this is identical to this in this context okay because profile data and save data we never do a comparison uh, with the name okay so on both of these we should just do if string dot equals for the first part of the name if it equals saved save data then we'll continue okay so the same thing we have to check for here but instead we're going to have to check for profile data for the first part okay let's take a look again okay so we have we also do a comparison with the name so if somebody changed the name that will actually corrupt the file and well you know don't mess with your save data and you won't have problems like that of course nowadays they just store this in a, in a server say so the the save profile and that's what it does when you continue when you you know when you connect online and there's usually two copies one locally and one online okay which is something of course we can do but it's out of the scope of this part at least we'll see later if we want to do something like that or if we care to add it so let's save and now we just need to take it and load it so before or well before we actually load the items on our player profile which is for example the init inventory we're going to have to load the player profile will have to be updated by the save file so this is the save file where it places any more mono behavior it kills the enemies and so on and so on for 
we're going to create another one for profile save and we're basically just going to get the same thing in here and we're going to say profile save save then get save profile okay if save is not null then play a profile dot all items dot clear play a profile all items dot add range save dot all items and so on and so on so to do that let's do a pick definition over here and we want to have everything so that will be player profiles dot starting clothes save dot starting clothes player profile dot right hand equals save dot right hand player profile left hand equals save dot left hand and the consumables consumables equals save dot consumable okay now as i said this is just temporary for now because we do not take into account any of the data that it's uh, yeah that its item will have so i'm going to copy the the well let's actually use the the profile okay so this will check when we begin and update the profile because it's on start then it will run before any other behavior so it should be fine the other thing that we will have to do is to actually know when we are actually saving so well you know the elephant in the room is we actually only do it on application quit but not on this i think not on this oh yeah it's the on the application quit i just have it commented out because we were doing ai and not uh, save files so we get one save file we save the serialization so let's say save uh, project data or game data and down here we will say save profile so this is very simple serialization dot save profile to file and that profile of course will be player profile dot get saveable profile and that's about it okay another place that we will have to save this will be when we are changing when we are changing items or picking up items and so on and so on but i think we could just live without without that right now because you know the only way we save or the only time we save is when we quit the game and that's pretty much because we don't need it we don't need anything else right now so i see my saves are empty let's make sure okay they are and i'm just going to hit play i actually didn't want the enemies however anyway doesn't matter okay so let me connect my controller Okay, let's hit play again. Uh, actually, I don't really care for the enemies. Let's leave all one. Okay. Yeah, there's no reason why I'm doing this, why I'm killing him, but whatever. We should probably add damage to that guy. So, okay, I'm going to go and change my, my items. Let's make it like this. I'm going to put two and two. Okay, which then, if we go out, 
and if we now go under our player profile it will translate into firecaster firecaster and great sword and great sword so let's change the arrays let's delete everything even and let's try this out we can go on our save file and we can see that we now have our profile data and our saved data so when i click play we should virtually be exactly back to where we were and true enough that is what we have okay so now we have also serialized our items of course we haven't actually see we only serialized or we only saved the ids so as i said every time we load it it's a new instance of the same object so to give you an example the great swords if they have durability they will always be at max durability when you first pick it up okay that's the idea with it and uh, of course, depending on the type of game you're making, that might be all you need to just have, do, uh, yeah, you might not even have durability or something like that. Okay, but we're going for the Souls experience, so we're going to actually include it. So that's it for this part. And on the next one, we're probably going to just save the instance items instead of the instead of just the ids so as always you know what to do like subscribe and if you like to see more stuff more videos more series then consider supporting me on patreon so we can keep making all of these nice and beautiful things we are making i'll see you next time